Okay. Hello. Hello, Eduardo. How are you today? You are you are mute with your microphone. Okay. Okay, great. Hello. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hi. I am I am I am fine with a, a little rain. Oh yes. It's been raining a lot, right? Yes. Okay, good. And then we have also here. Now oh, Eric is here now. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. And who else do we have? They are watching the president. Oh yes, the broadcasting, right? Yes. Oh yes. yeah, that's why. That's right. That's why they are missing in this moment. Okay, but they'll be here. How was your day? Good. Great. Great. Good. Good. It was very. How do you say, provechoso? Uh, it was a. Let's say a. A day with a lot of advantage. A lot of advantage, okay. Uh, I didn't say I took advantage. To this day, on yes. this day. This day, uh, okay. I took advantage of okay. the time. Okay, that is not to get some provision. Advantage, advantage with, will be uh, ventajoso, yes. uh huh. Okay. In this case, right, uh, I took advantage of my time. I take advantage. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have uh, Jose Armando, Diego are here. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hey, hello, Diego. How are you? Fine. Good. Okay, good. All right. I was watching, I was watching the broadcasting too. Oh, okay. Is it anything, yeah. <laughs> anything interesting? Um, not at all. <laughs> no. So we, we still, we are still the same, right? Yeah. Just, just sad, sadly things, I think. Yeah, yes, uh, statistics. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Did you do the homework? Well, did you prepare your, your, uh, let's say, uh, your instructions? Remember yesterday you said, uh, we said that you were going to choose a, a machine, an object or something, and you were going to, to explain you know, how to how to use it, right? And like a cell phone, washing machine. Okay. Who wants to? Who would like to start? Don't worry. You can improvise too, right? For example, how to use the. For example, how to use this platform. And how to. I don't know how to use the radio, the TV. Um, what else? The washing machine. The washing machine. Uh huh. Okay, the washing machine. What else? I don't know. Come on, Eric. Tell us. Okay, um, I will improvise. Yeah, no problem. That's that's better. Okay, um, first of all, you need to uh, put clothes into the uh, into the ma machine. So after that, you put uh, how did that detergent? I think I. Detergent? Deter detergent into the, the washing machine, washing machine, and after that, you if you are washing uh, white clothes, you need to use plunge too, and you need to uh, seleccionar. How do you say seleccionar? To, 
select. Okay. Uh, you need to select the option that is the correct for that clothes that are you washing in that moment. And you can also select the time if you got a manual machine. Okay. And after that, uh, just need to be sure that you are uh, closing the door and put uh, put on. Press the button on. Okay, good. And yes, you just press the button on, and that's it. Or the on button. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. All right, then now I know how to use the washing machine. Okay. Anybody else who wants to share? Yeah, yes, I would like to. Okay, Diego, go ahead. All right. Um, first, uh, I'm going to to explain how to change a a SIM card. I'm I'm going to to. Uh, 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 improvise. 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 Yeah, I'm going to improvise. Okay. Then you you need to have your phone. I my phone, pardon. And then I open my. Can I say open? Mm -hmm. Open my phone. Uh, turn on. No, oh, you, no. you access. I, I'm, I'm going to change the the SIM card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need okay. Yes. Open my, uh -huh. open my, my, my cell phone. Yes. Then I. Okay. Then in this case, in this case, you you remove. You mm -hmm. remove the back of your cell phone, right? Yeah. I I remove the uh -huh. the back of my cell phone. You can also say and, top, right? And then I, I I need to I need to know where is the SIM card. I I get get out the car. I take I out. Car. I take I, out. I, the, I, I take the SIM card out, and then I, I change I change it. And and again I I make sure that the secure I put the secure the same the SIM card secure. Mm -hmm. And then I, I put the battery and the, the the top of the the cell phone. Okay, and you cover it back. Okay, good. Yeah. And then you have to, and then you have a cell phone with a new SIM card. With a SIM card, new SIM yeah, card. With a new SIM card. Okay, good. Fine, thank you. Okay, anybody else? Okay, Jorge, go ahead. Okay, step two is the photocopier. Okay. Step one, turn on the copier. Step two, leave the top cover. Step three, place the original document on the glass. Step four, close the top cover. And step five, press the start button. Okay, good. All right, thank you. There are other steps right you know like to select if you want the size of the page and everything yes uh -huh, but okay. those are the these are the basic ones okay george very good excellent yeah thank you okay anybody else uh, teacher yes jonathan okay. jonathan go ahead jonathan okay <laughs> when the weather is hot i use the air condition in a special on holy week okay first i look for remote control okay uh, second put the right temp on the remote control maybe between 18 and 20 celsius degree. degrees degrees hot degrees celsius ah, degrees celsius okay uh -huh. degrees celsius it depends to hot okay and there i push the power on then I just relax. Perfect. Okay, that's correct. Good. Okay. Always, always the rich one humiliate the poor people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, yes. You know. This is you know showing showing off. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Showing off that he has an air condition. Okay. Good. No, that's okay, Jonathan. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, who else? Orlemos, uh, Antonio Hernandez, do you have something? Yes, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to explain how to use a printer. Perfect. Very good. Nice uh, introduction. The first step is plug in the printer's power cable and then turn on the printers pressing the on button connect the the cable usually uh, a usb cable from the printer to the computer and locate the printers series on on your computer open the document that you want to print and then you can select the file or press ctrl p on your keyboard and locate locate it and select the printers and finally press the print button okay Just very now, okay, very good, nice. Okay, those are you know detailed steps. Okay, very good. Great, man. Great. Okay, great. It was great. Yes, great explanation. But good. Okay, so we have Jonathan, uh, Diego, Jose Armando. Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, can you explain uh, uh, to us how to use a uh, any machine that you know how to use? Yes? Okay. Well, uh, hello, Gio. We're gonna give we're going to give a chance to, to Gio, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, uh, I'm going to think about joining join soon. Okay. If you're going, you have to go to join that soon, that us, and enter your meeting ID provided by the host. Right or or the organizer. Uh, then uh, you have to to click join. And if if this is your first time joining from Google or Google Chrome, uh, you will be asked to open Zoom uh, to client to join the meeting. Okay. And that's it. You're in. <laughs> and that that's it. And you are in and enjoy the class. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you just say enjoy the class. Okay, yeah. good. All right, good. Uh, let's see, Valeria. Are you ready? Valerie? Hello, Valerie. No, she cannot hear me, maybe. Okay, you, Susibel, are you ready? Susibel? No, oh, okay. Probably they can they, they can't hear us. Okay, and Eduardo, did you tell us? Okay. Um, okay, go ahead. I'm going to talk about my my cell phone. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, first, uh, throw my cell phone. Okay. Okay, because uh, it's uh, too rough. And after I enter my password, and and then uh, wait that uh, all up all the application, and after I check my message uh, in WhatsApp or Messenger, uh, and then uh, I un uh, answer the message. Uh, of all my friends or my boss, I, I don't know. Uh, and after I lock out the, my cell phone and I put on my pocket. 
You put it in your pocket. Okay, good. Okay, so you you always uh, do you always have your cell phone off? No. Uh, not always, but uh, sometimes when my cell is very hot, uh, it's uh, much better to 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 off. To turn it off. Okay, good. All right. That's a a good. It's good to know that. Okay, good. All right. Uh, hey, Jorge Mendoza, you're here, George. Hey, good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Okay, are you ready? Uh, not yet. Uh, just logging. Okay, log in. I'm logging in. Okay, good. And Evelyn, Evelyn, you say you were going to talk about the washing machine, right? Yes. Okay, good. Then tell us about uh, Yvonne's instructions on how to use a washing machine. Okay, do you to use the washing machine? First, select the clock. Second, turn, turn the washing machine on. Then, put the hand in the washing machine. Then, put the and then take the clock. Okay. Um, Only. Okay. No, the thing is that uh, I there was there was a problem in the with your audio. I think it was uh, after you say turn on the washing machine, and after that, can you repeat that one? What the? After uh, after you turn on. Okay. The machine, first. Huh? Yes. First, select your clothes. Okay. The, then okay then turn the washing machine on okay good uh -huh. what were the next steps the next oh, put detergent in the washing machine ah uh, detergent i had detergent in the washing machine okay yes um then put clothes inside put clothes inside okay Finally, uh, watch for it to finish and the take the clothes out. Okay, yeah. then wait for the washing machine to stop and take the clothes out. Okay, and then you out. take yes. it out and hang it up. Okay, and you hang the clothes up. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay. Thank, thank you, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Okay, George Mendoza. You're the last okay. but not least. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Uh, good night. Uh, first, uh, I I tell to you, I tell to you who do you, I tell to you uh, how you use the camera of photography. Uh, a camera. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. First, I turn off the camera. Camera. After that, uh, insert the memory card to save the picture. After that, select the size. Ne next, select the type of the picture. Okay. Then, uh, focus to the object. Next, take the picture. And finally, uh, review the picture. Only that. Only that. Okay, good. Okay, any other? Uh, eh, that's uh, that topic about uh, using a camera. You know, it's uh, it's very interesting, right? Because uh, there are special courses, you know, on photography, right? You know, for example, how how to take good pictures, right? And they teach you some uh, some tricks. Right, for example, you know that it has to do with the effect of the light, uh, the angle of your camera, or the angle of the object that that you want to to photograph. Okay, and then there are various, very, very uh, let's say, uh, nice uh, tips 
and an effect on how to use the camera. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you, George. Okay, so then, well, at least the ones who are here, I think everybody participated, right? Yes, except, uh, well, yes, everybody did. Okay, now we're going to, we'll see if the others come up uh, later. And right now I'll show you the, I'm gonna work on the, <clears throat> this one. Okay, here. We're going to have a little review the, about the about the knowledge check. Okay. This is the 2.2. All right. Good. Now we have uh, here, uh, let me see. Eric, can you please read the instructions, please? Okay, okay. Instructions. Complete, complete the prices by selecting either in infinitive or a gerund. Okay. Uh, have, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have select the phrases and you have to select either an infinitive or a gerund. Okay. Now, if you say, for example, look at this one, either or. Okay, ya sea este o este, right? Either or. Either an infinitive or a gerund. Either black or white either a big or small. So this is where you have some options, right? You can, uh, you can send me a message, you can send me a message, either in English or? In Spanish. Or Spanish, that's correct, okay, good. Okay, Eric, continue, what's the number one? Okay, okay, number one is uh, Satellite. 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 Satellites. Right? Mm -hmm. Satellites are used one to study the world's weather, to study the world's weather, for to study the world's weather. Uh, which one? Team? Which one do you think is the correct team? Okay, satellite. The first, the first one. satellites yeah. are used, okay, remember to this thing, used the to Use study it. the world's weather. weather. Okay, good. Eduardo Ponce, read the next one, okay? The, the, the phrase and the three possible answers. Okay. Good. Teacher. Yes? Could you mind if you say it again, Sadel? I don't know how to say that. Satellite. Sa satellite. Satellite. Sa satellite. Okay. okay. Satellite. You can say satellite, right? But it's satellite. 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 Okay, Lanzo. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Robots are sometimes used for perform dangerous tasks, to perform in dangerous tasks, for performing dangerous tasks. Okay. And the answer is? For performing dangerous tasks. For performing. Very, very good. They are used for performing. Performing dangerous tasks. Okay, good. Fine. Okay, uh, Jorge Lemus, number three. Okay, number three. You can use a cell phone. Sending text messages. 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 Uh -huh. Send text messages. This the second one. The second one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. second one. Messages. You can send use the messages. cell phone to send text send messages. Text messages. messages. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Diego, how about number four? Okay. People use the internet for making travel reservations, for make travel reservation, making travel reservation. And their answer is for, for making travel reservation. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very First much. one. This is the one. Yeah. First. Okay, very good. Now we have uh, Evelyn. Go for the number five. Five. DNA.
Evelyn. DNA fingerprinting is used to identify criminals to identify for identify criminals to identify criminals. Identify. Identify. Identify criminals. So identify criminals. The person? First. Okay. First. So remember you had to identify criminals for identify criminals to identify criminals. Okay. 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 Here it says criminals. Okay. Uh, this, 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 is, this is misspelled, right? This is spelled. Yeah. Uh -huh. so that, is error. Uh -huh, is wrong, yes. So the correct one is criminal. Okay, good. First. Yes, the first one. Right, so now let's see, uh, Gio, go for the number six. Okay. CD-ROMs are used storing an encyclopedia for stores an encyclopedia for storing an encyclopedia. And the answer, in the third one for starting an encyclopedia for starting an encyclopedia okay yeah now let's see what we did as a team okay so we have all of them correct satellites are used to study the world's weather this is weather okay world weather weather Robot, robots sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Dangerous task. Dangerous task. Uh, you can use a cell phone. You can use a cell phone to send to text, send uh, text messages. messages. And people use the internet for making travel mm -hmm. reservations. And DNA fingerprinting is just to identify criminals. Criminal. Criminal. For identifying criminals, no. And then we have CD-ROMs are used for exploring an encyclopedia. Okay, uh, did I tell you, I don't know if before I told you about the, a part of, do you know what a paraphrase is? Paraphrase, paraphrase. When you cut a, uh -huh. a, a word, when you when you cut a word in three or in two parts. Mm, no, actually, no. it's when you have a sentence like this. Okay, you can uh, follow the same structure, and you only change the some words that fit according to the context. Okay, satellites are used to study the world's weather. Okay, satellites are used to what? To to probably to watch see, other countries. I uh had -huh, to watch other countries. Okay, to observe other or countries. Spy, or spying, or to to spy other countries. Or to spy other countries. Uh, to, ident to identify locations around the world. Okay, you see, for example, we are only using the satellites are used to, and we can practice other verbs and other vocabulary. That is paraphrase, okay? Paraphrase. For example, robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Robots are sometimes used to make uh, food. Okay, so there are some robots in some uh, uh, factories that they process, uh, they make some, uh, they follow the process. Robots are, are sometimes used for uh, for operating, for operating people, right? And then they, they use these uh, mechanical machines, right? So they have like robots. Uh, you can use a cell phone to text messages, you can use a cell phone to take pictures, you can sell a, phone, a cell phone to uh, call, call a friend, call a relative. Okay, so 
that is okay, uh, then it is mm -hmm. it is correct to say make calls or to make to calling. make calls no to, to make, make calls. calls to make calls or you can also say for calling right for calling. For calling. Uh, but you can say to make calls that's also correct okay uh, for example you can use suppose uh we have a special cell phone in the in the office you say you can use this cell phone only to make important calls okay so almost the same idea but with some specific things right so then you follow the same structure and that is called in english or in spanish to paraphrase right? to paraphrase to paraphrase is to follow the same idea just changing some words okay uh, then let me see then you can do the same this is a an extra practice that you can do with these exercises you know uh, and then you practice the vocabulary because remember that if we don't practice the vocabulary that we learn in previous levels then we tend to forget it right so it's important to to practice okay so the next one uh, we did this one we watch this video then we did this one as well then we have the imperatives this is what we were doing at the beginning of the class and then we have the other uh, knowledge check okay good <clears throat> now we'll see uh let me see a uh, jorge mendoza can you please read instructions here here okay okay uh, instruction read this suggestion which one referred to a large system a cell phone a laptop computer just among those those okay no problem with the vocabulary no okay then let's see uh, we have a uh, Jonathan, tell me the first one. Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Option. Try to keep it. Ah, uh, laptop computer. Laptop? Laptop computer. Computer. Okay, try to keep it close to protect the screen. Good. Okay, uh, Jose Armando, second one. Okay, alarm system. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget to write down your secret code. The answer is alarm system. Alarm system. Okay. Evelyn, number three. Try to keep it close. Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, three. Yes, three. Remember to talk it out as soon as you come in the door. As you come in the door. Okay. In the door. Which one? Alarm system. Alarm system. Yes. No. Remember to uh, call the door. Oh, the cell phone. Door. No. Alarm system. Oh, alarm system. It's my ahead. opinion. No, it's okay. No problem. Go ahead. Number four, Eric. Try not to get. Try not to get. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Try not to get. Try not to get it wet or wet, or the keys make it stuck. 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 Okay. Make sure. Okay. Here. Try. It not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Which one? Like the computer. Oh, oh. Well, not the computer. Also a cell phone, right? Cell phone, uh, yeah. To be another option, but it's okay, no problem. Mm. Okay, 
And Eric? Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Number five. Number five, right? Yep. Make sure to set each time you leave home. Our system. Okay, good. All right, Gio. Number six. Uh, remember to recharge the, body, the batteries before they die. Uh, cell phone. Cell phone? Yeah. Okay. And the last but not least here, let me see. Okay, Eduardo. Okay. Seven. Be, be sure to run it off before bed or a call may wake up may, okay, sorry or a call may wake you up okay be sure to turn it off uh -huh. cell phone that's all okay here we have the seven answers i guess that in some of them there might be more than one answer right so it's <laughs> a possibility Okay, laptop computer, laptop computer, no problem. Alarm system, no problem. The alarm system, no problem. Laptop, um, laptop computer, the alarm system, the cell phone, and cell phone. The perfect 10, right? Very good, guys, okay? So these are the two uh, knowledge checks that we had. And now I think we're going to do the last exercise of this uh, section. If I'm not wrong. Yes, this is one. Okay, Jonathan, would you please read the, the objective here, please? Okay. In this class, you will read an article about technology in the future. Develop Skills. 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 There is a mistake here. Oh, skills. Uh, skills. Okay. Okay. Uh, skills in identifying paragraph topics and reading for a specific information. Okay. So here, what we have to do is, you know, like for example, what is the 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 main idea? Okay. The identifying topic in the paragraph. Or some pro, uh, probably some specific information about it, right? So let's see the paragraph that you're going to read. And here we have, okay, um, Evelyn, can you please read the instructions here? Okay. Read the article check true or false for each statement about the future. Mm. Okay, yes, 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 sorry, sorry. Okay, so it's uh, read the article check true or false for each statement, right? And then you have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. eight. Okay, first we're going to read the statements okay so that you have an idea what to look for in the in the in the in the reading right okay so Jorge Mendoza read the not the answer okay only the the statement the sentence okay go ahead okay you need to pay attention in attention while driving okay. you need to pay attention while driving okay very good Okay, uh, Eduardo, the second one. Okay, you pay for your groceries when they arrive. Perfect, okay, good. Uh, Evelyn, three. Okay, people don't use cash anymore. Okay, good. Jonathan, number four. Okay. Number four, you usually buy, buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. For lunch. Okay, Eric, five. Sorry, sorry. Okay. 
you need to you need to go to the office every day every day okay good sadly that is true <laughs> okay diego number six all right and you you co-workers have have to speak the same language yes okay you and uh, your co-workers have to speak the same language okay to be syn uh, synchronized jose armando seven seven when you get a message you can see the sender space okay when you get a message you can say you can see the sender's face Jorge Lemus, the number eight. You have to go to a busy store to find movies. Okay, very good. Okay. What is center? What is senders, teacher? Uh, excuse me? What is senders? Sender, uh, sender is the person that sends a message. Okay, for example, nowadays, if you send uh, a message through WhatsApp, sometimes you can see the the, the face. Uh, the face of the person if he or she has a picture right but then uh, that's that's the the sender face is the person that sends and the person who receives is the receiver okay uh, if i send you a whatsapp in this moment uh-huh you i am the yes. sender and you if i send something to the group in this moment i am the sender okay and you can see well not my face because i have a a quote, I have a phrase, okay? But you can see a picture there, right? Not okay. a face. But if I have a picture of myself, then you will see my face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, uh, well, these are the ideas that we have to, to answer after reading this paragraph. Okay, good. See, we can, yes, easy to read, right? Okay, good. Then, Antonio Hernandez, would you please read the first paragraph? People is use it. People use it. Okay, uh, yes. Just okay. Wait, 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 wait. A day in your life. Here, here, oh. and this. Okay. A day in your life. In the years 2020, scan the article, then add the correct heading to each paragraph. Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, working. Okay, so we have for example, one, two, three, four, five, six headings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? okay. Now, continue reading. The first one. People used to know more or less how their children will live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own life will be our like life. in a few years. Life. Life will be like in a few years. What follow is how as first see the future. See the future of you talking. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, Evelyn, read the first paragraph here. Okay. Your date for me behind the wheel or your car, but that's okay. You have it at automatic pilot. And with, and with it, high dash computers you can now how to get your homes safely 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 okay now if you see here for example this happens sometimes when we are driving right but we are not concentrated right we are thinking uh about other things right and sometimes they dreaming is because we are thinking about a nice vacation we are thinking about our family, about uh, a better job. So then this is daydreaming, okay? Uh, questions about vocabulary here? Mm -hmm. 
A day, no? daydream? What, what does it mean? Daydream. Daydream. Daydreaming. Daydreaming. Yeah. Okay. Daydreaming, George, is when you uh, dream, but you are not sleeping. Yes. For example, like when you are, oh my God, if I, you are only thinking, right? My money, I'm thinking about the lottery, and oh, not to yeah. work, to, yeah, be, to, be, to be in the Bahamas, right? So this is daydreaming, right? You are only thinking, but no, no sleep. About, about, about my dreams. Huh? <laughs> huh? Yes, thinking about your dreams. Huh? Thinking about your dreams during the day, okay? Uh, in good Spanish, we say, no, soñar despierto, right? They yeah, sure. soñar despierto. Okay. Good. Uh, now, uh, Diego, can you please read the next paragraph? This one. Okay. You have for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer an hour ago, and they've been delivered. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deducted. 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 Deducted from your bank bank account. Nobody uses cash more cash anymore. Nobody uses cash anymore. Okay, good. Questions about vocabulary? No. 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 Okay, good. Then, uh, let me see now, Jorge Mendoza, would you please read the next one, which is this one. What's what for lunch, okay? Uh, what for lunch? In the old days, you used to uh, stop up to get a hamburger or pizza. How you use your di diagnostic machine to find on which food you your body needs, your food preparation, machine makes you a salad. Makes you a salad. Okay, good. No problem? No. All right. Now, let me see here. We have uh, Antonio, Antonio Hernandez. Would you please read the next paragraph? After lunch. After lunch? You go down the the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. Okay. No problem. Um, no. Okay. Gio, read the next one. Your information. Your information screen says that you you have received a message from a coworker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your coworker's face appears on the screen, and the translation translation appears at the bottom. At the bottom. Very good. Excellent. Questions. No. No. Okay, Jesse is here, right? Jesse, would you please read the last paragraph? Hi. Hello. Ay, 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 espérame. Estaba haciendo algo, pero. Okay. Are you cooking or what? <laughs> Estaba buscando colcha para mi hija. Okay, no problem. Now, 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 now. I, I read. I can see the, the lesson. Can you see it here? The last okay. Paragraph. The last paragraph here, where my mouth uh, is. You finish. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, read it. You finish? Yes, he, we lost to Senia. Don't be shy. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Eh, uh, wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You finish. Okay. Okay. You finish working and go back to your uh, living room. You turn on the television and look uh, through uh, the list of the new movies. It's like having a video stored in your home. Uh, how about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. All right, good. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, uh, questions, people, about vocabulary? No? Well, if you have one, let me know. Okay, now what we have to do first is to, okay, in this paragraph, which word from this uh, list fits here? Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, or working? I think it's uh, relaxing. Relaxing? Yes. Okay, relaxing. How about the second one? Eating. Which one? Eating. Eating, right? Yeah. As you head for the kitchen, you order grocery by computer go there in the liver, you pay for them and write the money automatically deducted from your bank account. For me, shopping. Or shopping. what? Shopping, shopping, right? Because shopping. you have to pay yeah. for it, yes. Shopping. And the next one? What? Eating. One. What's for lunch? What's for lunch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, so eating. this one is eating, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And after lunch, you go down. Relaxing. Working. And after lunch, you go down the hall to your home. Working. Here you have everything working. you need to do your work. Working? Yeah, working. Working. Uh, working here, yes. And this one is your information. Communicating. 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 Communicating, right? Yes, this is when we yeah. use communicating. And the last one, you finish working and go back. Relaxing. relaxing. That's relaxing, relaxing because you relaxing. can have the chance to relaxing. watch to a, movie a movie and then relax and yeah. have yeah. fun, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Now let's go back to the main page here and let's answer the questions here, right? Now that we have an idea. Eric, you're a good driver. You have a motorcycle, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I have. I have it. Okay. What about this one? You need to pay attention while driving. Yes, okay. obviously, always. Okay, true. Right. Well, well, in your case, <laughs> in your case, would be you know like riding, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because you have a, a motorcycle, but then driving, you need to pay attention to. Okay, good. Um, let me see who else. Uh, Jorge, Jorge Mendoza, how about the second one? Okay, uh, you pay for your grocery when you, they arrive, false. False, in this case, no, right? Okay, good. Yes. And George Lemus, three. Okay, people don't use cash anymore, two. Two, okay. This is according to the reading, right? According to the reading. Yes. Yeah. Like in, in uh -huh. Europe, yes. In this yeah. moment, in Europe, don't use it any more cash. Uh -huh. Here yeah. in El Salvador is the same, right? But only if you have a, if you have some money, right? Like for example, credit cards and stuff, and you buy only in, in restaurants or supermarkets. Because if you order your food from from a, from the supermarket now, you pay in advance and you don't have to use cash. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you, you can buy online, right? Or if you order yeah, food to your house, you pay online. You uh, can, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So many, th many things, you know, many, many things you can, you don't mm -hmm. use cash. Yeah. Okay. Eduardo, number four. You usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. Uh, true? True? False. According to this reading, 
It's false for the part that is false. False, right. Gio, number five. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, you need uh, you need to go to the office every day. False. False. Okay. People, what do you think? False? Okay. Nobody said anything? All right, then uh, let's see who else do we have here. Uh, okay, Eric, number seven. Uh, number six. Number six. Yes. You and your co workers have to speak the same language. The, in, in context to the text, that, that is false. false. Right? Okay. Sure. Not very. Yes. Okay. And Esmeralda? Esme? Number seven. Okay. When you get a message, you can see the sender face too. True. It's true. Okay. It's true, okay. And Jose Armando, number eight. You have to go to a video store to rent a movie. False. You have to go to a video store to rent a movie. Now you don't have to. You can watch it in your house. Yeah, you can do it in Netflix. Netflix or what is the other one? Amazon? No. Amazon, yeah. Amazon. Amazon, oh, no. Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Amazon, Amazon Prime, right? So this Amazon is the other Prime, one. yeah. Okay. They say, is it good? I, I have heard good comments about, I don't have Amazon Prime, but they said it's good, right? There are good movies. Too. Obviously, it's, it's better Netflix, but we can, we can get a lot of content like there too. Yeah. Exclusive content. In Amazon, in Amazon Prime, but it's more yeah, expensive. Yeah, yeah. Is it more uh, expensive? I think, I think it costs is like seven dollars. I don't know. In, in the basic, uh, basic, 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 the basic. Uh, what do you say? La más barata. The, uh, the, the, the basic package. Yeah. Basic package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The basic yeah. package. Uh, it's got seven dollars, I think. Okay, well, that's good. No, uh -huh. no, not that bad. And it's better than Netflix. For me, it's better than Netflix, but ah, okay, you can. Uh huh. Like, but like obviously, other... it's like uh, you ha you have exclusive content in both. Uh huh. Yeah. Just Netflix had their exclusive content. Amazon too. Amazon too. Okay. Okay. Good. Now let's check the answers. So we're gonna see what. Okay, so this is true. This is true. You and your coworker have to speak the same language. True. Okay, follow. -up. This is true. Okay, this is good. This is good. All right, guys. Very good. Okay, so you have a a good memory. You remember information. Okay, good. Uh, remember, in these exercises that we have at the end, for example, in this kind, uh, the reading ones, it is very, but very important, and I will be very emphatic here, you know, to, to pay attention to, to the vocabulary. Because, you know, uh, make sure, make sure that you understand each paragraph, like if you were reading in Spanish, right? Because, you know, one of the Keys. Uh, let's say uh, if you want to be successful in learning a language, English, Spanish, Chinese, Italian, anyone, is the vocabulary, right? Because you know when you have vocabulary or you know expressions, then you know that then you have the the chance to practice more. Okay, but sometimes we we don't practice because we feel limited. Okay. Uh, the, because we don't have enough vocabulary or we don't know how to say something and then uh, we are like, we, we don't feel confidence at the moment of speaking. But when we have a lot of vocabulary and we put it in practice every day, so then we're becoming more confident, okay? 
So then uh, that's why I always emphasize, you know, the vocabulary, reading comprehension, we need to understand this paragraph is also very important, right? So read the same paragraph two, three times, it doesn't matter. No, but uh, uh, I, I will see if I, the things that uh, sometimes through WhatsApp, uh, it's not that uh, easy to, uh, to send you some, uh, some readings, but uh, uh, because, the, because the files are too heavy. Because, you know, there are some, uh, some uh, tales, you know, like cuentos that you could listen in English just for practice. Okay, but I will try. I think there is a website, another website, and then I will see if I can, uh, if I can find it and send you the link. Okay, in that way, you know, you can practice also online. Okay, okay. very good. So then now the next one. Okay, this is the. The lesson objective three. Okay, I think that by the, um, let me see, Monday or Tuesday probably, you know, you can start, you know, answering the, the do the test, right, the midterm test. I think that by Monday we will be probably, Monday we will be finishing this, this, uh, this section so that you can, you can, you know, start with the midterm test, right? So because sure. the, the time is flying, this is the second week already, right? Yeah. Yes, Eric. Yeah. In this model, we will do it uh, a final exam, right? Yes. Or, yeah, they have it's like it's like the model one that we don't we don't have it. I I I I, I talk about the oral exam. I don't, I'm not sure about it, but I think I think it has, there has to be one, right? But I, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll let me find out, and I will let you know. But okay. The ones I know is only the written, uh, the midterm, and final. Okay. But if okay, there is an, okay. if there is an oral, uh, don't worry. You'll be prepared for that. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Then it says in this class you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. Okay, so we have to talk about uh, celebrations. Just look at this, anniversary, cake, cake cards, dancing, yeah. fireworks, flowers, fruit. Okay, so for tomorrow, we can think about anniversaries, but other kinds of, so we're going to start talking about celebrations. Birthday parties, Christmas, uh, what else? Uh, we have uh, the most, yeah. 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 which one? Drinking parties. Valentine's? Drinking, drinking party. <laughs> Not drinking, drinking, drinking parties. Drink yeah. party. Drinking parties. And then we had the Valentine's, right? We also have the Mother's uh, Day. Father's Day, Mother's Day. You see, Mother's Day this year is going to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can probably talk about how um, we are planning to celebrate Mother's Day this year because it's going to be very different, right? So then, you know, these are some topics, okay? So prepare vocabulary for tomorrow. And we are going to start talking about celebrations, okay? And all the things that we need to make a nice party. Okay, everybody? So okay. have a very good night. And relax, rest you as too. much as you Thank can. You, and see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.